All right, Betty, do you ever feel like you're uh, you're stuck in a rut, like your routine <laughs> yeah. is taking over? Every day, pretty really? much. Yeah, because, you know, the sleeping patterns, the eating patterns, after a while it gets boring. And I haven't exercised as much as I should, so I need to get out of that rut of not exercising and get back ah, in the gym. i got to change some habits. Well, get out of. If you are looking for ways to break away from the daily grind, we've got the lovely Jennifer Braunschweiger Thankfully. here, deputy editor of More Magazine. She's going to help us out. going to help us get out of our rut. Yes, absolutely. I love this. What the I do first you? thing you say <laughs> is to re-energize your morning and evening routine. How do we do that? Yeah. You know, starting the morning off right is a great way to bust out of a out of a rut that you may be in. We all fall into them. One of our suggestions is to just try waking up an hour earlier. Okay, hold up. Oh. <laughs> hold up. That sounds You're tough. You're going to get some pushback on that. That's yeah. hard as it is just to wake up on time, but an hour early, really? Absolutely. Here's the thing. It is hard to get up an hour early, but then you set your whole day up for success. So use that hour to either do something that you've been meaning to do or just use it to spend a little bit more time with your coffee, make a healthier breakfast, don't rush. If you've had that healthy breakfast, then you're less tempted by the donuts at the break room at 10 mm -hmm. o'clock and everything starts to cascade from there. So it is a good way just to break out of that rut and start things off in a better, a more healthy pattern for the rest of the day. You know, when it comes to sleeping, I mean, that's a big part of my rut. I can't get to sleep on time and then I don't get enough sleep and the next day I'm panicked because I'm running behind and I'm tired and all of that. So how do I get out of that rut? One of our suggestions for that at Moore is we suggest setting a nighttime alarm. This is a kind of funny idea. Basically, a alarm. yes. So for instance, if you want to go to bed at 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. maybe you set an alarm at 9.30 that cues you to turn off the television, go brush your teeth, wash your face, get your pajamas on, do these things so that you're then in a good position to So it's like when you were a kid, mom would say, it's, be it's bedtime. Bedtime, everybody, yeah. <laughs> it's your exactly. nighttime alarm. You have to be your own mom. <laughs> but you're literally setting an alarm because the body responds to that cue. Is that right? Exactly right. You're setting up, to, to have a good habit, you need a cue, a routine, and a reward. So the cue might be the alarm going off at 9.30. The habit might be standing up, stepping away from the television, brushing your teeth, washing your face, and the reward is getting to bed on time, having enough time to sleep, waking up feeling refreshed, whatever it might be. That would be quite a reward. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what about making fewer decisions? What does that mean and how do we do it? I like this one too. So the idea here is that willpower is actually exhaustible. You can run out of willpower over the course of the day. So if you take away the decision-making factor from some of the decisions during the day, like what to eat for breakfast. Mm -hmm. So eat the same thing every day? Eat the same thing for every, every day. Maybe you have a green smoothie and an egg. Okay. Or so you don't have to think with, about it. It's automatic. You don't think you about it. it. Correct. You're not using up your willpower deciding not to eat the sugary cereal mm -hmm. or thinking about, oh, my gosh, what do I make? And because of that, you have more left over to make a good decision about going to the gym. That makes sense. You <laughs> say something that I find very interesting, and I'm into the feng shui and all of that, but yeah. try to sleep with your head facing south. Yes. So really? Why is that? that? <laughs> there's an idea that Sleeping with your feet facing the North Pole brings positive energy in. If that's not possible for you... I was going to say, you, because not all bedrooms are going to accommodate Absolutely. that. Absolutely. <laughs> like mine is not. For instance, that would be very weird to have my head facing south. My head would be in my closet, so right. that's not going to work. But I do like the idea of occasionally switching where you sleep or how you sleep. So again, in this idea of getting out of a rut, maybe you switch spots with your spouse. Okay. Maybe uh. sometimes you sleep with your head facing the other direction. I actually find that a good way to fall asleep if I'm having trouble sleeping. That's Change is, yeah. Yeah. Change is yeah. good. Exactly. Jennifer, yeah. thank you so much. Oh, All good tips. Pleasure. And there's a lot more. There's many, many, many more tips. Mm -hmm. You can check them out in more magazine. And Betty, thank you for filling in today. I can't believe this. We're done already. I know. It went by so fast. This was so much fun. I learned how to cook a little bit. Now I know how to get out of my rut. Yep. We're good to go. You got some dating rules? <laughs> yeah. What not to do, right? What not to do. Or how you can break them anyway. 